We were at the uh, the game on Friday night, Gabe and I, but also with our pal Dave Skirman from First Ontario for a, for a little get together with the uh, the morning live crew and, and Dave. And it was good to see you in person, Dave. Give you a big uh, give you a big hug because we're doing been doing this virtually for too long. So thanks for having us on. Thanks for having us on Friday. Is it true? Is this the the penultimate episode of this season? So you got one more left before you're off for the one summer. One more left. And in fact, I'm going to be in the studio uh, next time in two weeks' time for the first time since the pandemic. I'm really looking forward to that, Tim. Well, it's well, it's going to be great to you beat me to work. You're here at like 5 a.m. <laughs> eating, uh, eating the donuts and stuff. So I can look forward to having seen you in a couple of weeks. Okay. We're discussing a hot topic uh, everyone's talking about, rising interest rates and the volatility in the stock market. So let's start with interest rates. L listen, Dave, how much higher can they go? And, and I don't know, can we cope with them going up? Well, it, it is timely because uh, Morning Live is reporting this morning on uh, the Bank of Canada's comments yesterday. Mr. Macklem, the governor of the Bank of Canada, spoke yesterday to the media, uh, and he said interest rates could be double. Uh, before they stop. And that, of course, he's referring to the benchmark rate that the Bank of Canada sets. That's the rate that banks uh, lend to each other. And of course, if the uh, cost of money to banks is a little higher, then they're going to pass that on to consumers. So the reason, of course, Tim, is inflation. Bank of Canada likes to keep inflation, the inflation rate around 2% because that means a, a good, healthy economy, uh, not too overheated, uh, but heated enough. Um, but however, uh, inflation right now is running about 6%, so three times what, where the government and the Bank of Canada like to see it. So uh, one of the best tools in their toolbox to control inflation is interest rates, because as, as they put interest rates up, people borrow a little less, companies borrow a little less, and, uh, and that helps. So um, how can people cope? Well, uh, don't borrow uh, unless you absolutely have to. Follow a budget, and it may be a good time as rates are going up to look at a fixed rate in, in terms of, uh, of your borrowing rather than a variable rate. So how much would an average mortgage go up with these interest rates going up? Well, if you borrowed, let's say, $450,000 today on a mortgage as opposed to three months ago before rates started moving, your, your payment would be about $100 more per month. So it might not seem like a ton, but if you add that to uh, the increased cost of groceries and gas and everything else, then, uh, you know, it's starting to pinch people a little bit. So, so be careful on how much you're borrowing, obviously. Well, because, I don't know, some of us, or some people got stretched pretty thin trying to get into the market. Like, is Bank of Canada worried that they stress themselves too thin? Well, you know what? Uh, the mortgage uh, stress test put into effect a few years ago by, by the government. Uh, a lot of people complained about it. Uh, you know, mortgage brokers sometimes complained about it because people couldn't borrow as much. But what that stress test meant is you have to qualify um, for your payment if the rates went up 2% higher than you're actually getting. And now, uh, lo and behold, uh, the Bank of Canada is showing that uh, that's a, that was a good test. Uh, because now rates are probably going to be up 2% more than when you borrowed, if you borrowed a couple of years ago. So people should be able to afford it as long as they qualified uh, in that stress test. Okay, last one here. Um, investors, we're, we're, get, get in, get out now, stay in. What's the advice? Well, uh, you know, uh, if you look at the uh, stock market, people say buy, lo uh, buy low and sell high. And, and that's easy to say. But when markets start going down, of course, people start getting nervous and then their emotions uh, rather than their mind to make their decisions for them. Um, so there's no loss in the stock market. The stock market is going to be very volatile due to the war in Ukraine, uh, Ukraine uh, inflation. Uh, all of these things mean the stock market is going to be volatile. Some days it's going to be up, some days it's going to be down. Uh, but again, again, the best strategy is to stay in there because unless you sell, you haven't lost anything. And over time, and we've got 100 years of history in the stock market, it's always going to go up over time. So wait it out and uh, and you will be rewarded for that. Always great advice. Dave Skirman from First Ontario. We found that picture. Look at you on the end. We got, <laughs> we got Director Tansy, we got Gabe, we got Carly, we got Annette and, uh, and Matt along with uh, Aaron. So thanks for having us out. What do you got tonight? Bulldogs are taking it tonight, Paul? Yeah, Bulldogs are going to take it tonight, Tim. Got good stuff. And we look forward to, uh, to seeing you in, uh, in two weeks' time in studio. Send in your questions. Win a gift card. Finance Friday at FirstOntario.com. You can go the, the Twitter route, too, at finance, fri finance underscore Friday. Have a good weekend, Dave. You too, Tim. Take care, buddy.